the last week of the month, which means we gotta get ready for my favorite holiday. my channel my name is Nicole if you are new thanks so much for clicking on this week's grocery haul we have a another big one I feel like they're gonna be huge until 2024 who's with me out there we went to Aldi we went to Sam's Club Target and Walmart per usual suspects let me take you down to the counter and show you what we picked up to wrap out October and get us ready for the $87 Sam's Club drive up $37 Target drive up and then in store, of course, Aldi was $96.70. Like, how is Aldi the most expensive? Because we got a bunch of meats and that crap is high right now. Y'all know, anytime I go in the store, if I see the apple strudel, I pick it up. I love that maple one and I haven't seen it for weeks. I'm sad because I think I like that one a little bit more than this one. I have this one on plan next week. I have a loaf in the freezer, but if I see it, I'm just picking it up because it's that good and I know it's seasonal and they don't always have it by me. I did get two of the French baguettes from Aldi. I've never gotten these before anywhere, I don't think, but they're 130 calories for a fifth of the baguette, which is 54 grams. Just not bad, right? But we're going to be doing my slow cooker potato soup. That is something I made before I started my fitness journey here on YouTube when I was doing all my like day to day foodie Fridays. If you are an OG, you know, I will link it down below because it is hands down delicious, but I'm going to warn you guys, it is not macro friendly. Okay. But we're having that this week for our movie night. So I wanted to have some crusty bread with that. And also I'm making a crack chicken soup that is macro friendly in the slow cooker next week. And I wanted to have that for it as well. So I got two of them for the party or party, the movie night. I'm just saying parties this weekend. I'm making another punch. Y'all know the punch uh, saga. I've been, we've been ranking the punches as far as which one they like the best. So far they like that ginger ale, pineapple one. You guys were saying that y'all love that kind of recipe for a punch as well, but I'm doing like a, like a mango orange type of punch to match our theme. We're watching, we're having a Halloween Michael Myers movie marathon. So everything is like orange and black. And I got this guava mango. We've never tried any of these. First off, we don't really buy these kind of things you guys know, but for the punch, I thought it'd be good. And I am going to cut it instead of using like regular orange soda. I'm using the Sunkiss zero. Y'all know the drill I've been preaching the past couple weeks with trying to make things uh, a little bit better instead of full blown sugar. We got three of the blackberries. Y'all a dollar 69, like a dollar 99 is what they've been week to week, but they were on in all these savings and it's still, they're looking great. So I got three more again, their grapes were the cheapest anywhere. Walmart, Sam's, they're all million dollar. Got the red ones to please everybody. Y'all the blueberries, I know. And I know you guys that frozen fruit is more nutritious and y'all see me buy frozen fruit all the time. I just like the taste of fresh blueberries better. You know, there's some things as far as for me anyway, that I like frozen, I like fresh. You just gotta, you know, pick and choose your battles, whatever you like. And blueberries is one of them. And it's still million dollar at Walmart and Sam's, but this, uh, I don't know how, this is a bigger pack. I don't know how many ounces, one dry pint. Okay. But it was like $4 and something, which is still high for what it is, but it's cheaper than what I've been seeing is what I'm saying. I got two of the cream cheeses. I got a regular full fat. Y'all haven't seen me buy full fat cream cheese in a hot second. That is for the potato soup. Like I'm going all in with it on the weekend for that recipe. And then we did get the less fat one for, I think it's the cracked chicken soup for next week. And we finally have run to the bottom of the barrel with the Halloween Gogurt tubes. So I picked up one of the moo tubes, which is just eight cotton candy and melon berry is the boy's favorite anyway. So they'll be happy. I just refilled my like glass spice rack thing with the last of the onion powder I had on backup. So I hadn't got this one. It's 99 cents. It's like a dollar 20 at Walmart. The one at Walmart is a little bit bigger. So it probably evens out, but I just went ahead and got that one. And then we are doing the Mississippi pot roast. That's one of my favorite recipes, macro friendly recipes that taste like top notch top chef quality okay i haven't made it in a minute i don't know why because we were having it every other week because it's so freaking easy and delicious but we have it on plan i was like girl you got to get that back in your life banana pepper rings cheap at all the expensive at walmart and they're not carrying the one at walmart i like anyways anymore i am going to make that cheesy bean dip again i mentioned last week if you watch the grocery haul it was so good and so easy i'm just wanting it so i got a can of refried beans 
Speaking of the Mississippi pot roast, I always get the chuck roast from Aldi because it's a killer deal. It was actually on sale this week, $5.99 a pound, which is not bad. So the entire chuck roast, which is a little over three pounds, was $18.39. The rest of the ingredients for that recipe are cheap. So it is a cheap recipe overall high protein, easy, that will feed a ton of people. So I love, love, love it so much. We got a little cookie wasted. Let me explain. So I am making s'mores dip this weekend for the party. I can't wait using the pumpkin peeps and chocolate chips. It looks super easy. It's like some TikTok viral thing, y'all know. And I got some stuff to dip with. We don't have any vanilla wafers, so I got those cheaper at Aldi. Got some graham crackers. We don't have any more of those. Cheap at Aldi. And then one of you guys sent me this on Instagram and said, girl, you got to get these. These are on Aldi finds. They won't be there long. So when you see them, snag them. Thank you guys for sending me stuff over on Instagram and giving me the heads up. I appreciate you guys so much. So I got the 12 pack of the iced mini oatmeal cookies. Y'all know I love the ones from Walmart so much, but it's hard for me to get the little packages like this. And I love that they're pre-portioned out. 130 calories, a pouch. Hubs love those and so do the kids. And then I thought this would be fun for the kiddos and who am I kidding? For us two adults, you know, we like all this crap. Birthday cake, mini animal cookies, 130 calories for a pouch for those two. So I went ahead and got them because they won't be around long. Got some 96% lean ground beef. I'm gonna be doing like, I just keep eating the same things here lately. Whatever I am enjoying and I'm not getting burnt out on, I just keep putting on rotation if it's easy and delicious and meets my goals. 96% ground beef is for the cottage cheese taco bowls that I make all the time. If you watch the vlogs, you know, each of these were $7.80, cheaper than Walmart, $6.19 a pound. Walmart's was $7.20 a pound for 96%, crazy. I did get a bag of spinach, that is for the cracked chicken soup, I believe, and then some green onions for a recipe. Got some nine food items. I did get some of the sandwich 100 count bags. They were on sale for like a buck 99 and we're down to our last couple ones. So that was awesome. And then for the soup this weekend for the movie night, I got some paper bowls. I know don't come for me, but I'm already going to be doing lots of dishes, making all the things. So this is going to help me out. Me. All right. Me. I'm the one doing everything. And then the Aldi walk of Isle of Shame, walk of shame, got me. All right. I, I think I spend more money at Aldi because I actually go in and I buy more ish that I don't have on my list. So I think it's saving me money, but it's actually costing me more money. Aldi, you and your sorcery. But y'all look how I'm going to put it on for you guys. Look how pretty. I was like, oh, uh, in the cart, in the cart. They had like a snowman, a Santa. They also had the tree with a star on the top if you wanted it to be a little extra. I just like this plain one, but I thought that was beautiful for the price. And you know, I I'm buying this crap when I see it because it'll be Easter when I actually want it. And that is everything we got at Aldi for like $97, whatever I told you. Wal uh, Walmart, Target, we did the pickup again. They had these, and y'all know I bought the Halloween ones like in July. No lie. If you watch those videos, I bought those Halloween ones months ago. So I went ahead and got these because these will sell out with all the viral TikTok crap, and that's what I got them for. I got the Elf. You get 20 in there, and the Christmas tree ones. How cute are those? And I'm going to put them away for our Christmas movie night. See, we are being prepared. And then we got Halloween in the mix because I can't find candy corn anywhere. Again, the, uh, Christmas is out. But Target had it. So I went ahead and got that. It's for the punch. And also, I've mentioned, that's Waylon's jam. It's his favorite. I love this Good and Gather Cantina style made with jalapeno, peppers, onions, green chilies, and garlic. This stuff is awesome. If you want a little kick, it's got a little spice to it. I am about that life. But for my cottage cheese bowls, that's what I used when I ran out of my chi chis I like the chi chis now. Don't get me wrong. But this one is better. I'm telling you. It is so, so good. 10 calories for two tablespoons, and I usually use like four to five when I do those bowls. Y'all know the drill. If I'm doing anything at Target and I see it, I pick it up. I was in Target, you guys know, um, if you watched the vlog earlier in the week, and I bought Christmas crap, I know, and that Target did not have any, but this one did. So I got two of the low-fat 2% cottage cheese for the bowls, and then y'all look what I got for Saint Dog. I cannot pass this up, and they only had like, it said five left in stock. I'm telling you, everybody be going cray this early. An advent calendar for dogs. They have one for cats too, if you're a cat mommy or daddy out there. Only at Target. 24 days of delicious cookies. So I mean, I'm going to get advent calendars for the boys, but I had to get one for Saint since I saw it. And it comes with these cute bone cookies and a snowman cookie. Are you serious right now? I thought that was so cute, and I thought Waylon would get a kick out of giving Saint his toy or his treat every day alongside theirs. 
So that's what we got at the Target pickup. Sam's Club, y'all know the drill, the Hawaiian bread, two count. If you can't find the Hawaiian guys, they also have the nature's own butter bread. It is 60 calories a slice versus 70. And if this ever goes away, I'm just telling you in advance, that's what I'm gonna convert to. But since they have it, we got it. Y'all know the drill eggs. I had to get another because I'm about to bust out my backup and I've been flying through the eggs. I've been enjoying some whole eggs lately. They have been serving me and these pasture raised ones are so comparable to Vital Farms Happy Egg, all the expensive ones for the price for 18. It is a steal of a deal. Another steal of a deal, y'all, I told you I was buying the cheap fruit. Can you believe the raspberries, the two pack, were $2.98 a piece? What, that's like the cheapest I've seen fruit, well, except for like the Aldi fruit, but I got three of them because of that price and they look amazing. The ones we bought last week were great, so I don't know what's going on, but I ain't, I ain't saying nothing. Y'all keep your mouth shut. Don't say anything because Sam's Club, you'd be raising them to $8. We got the big old eight pound of the golden crinkle french fried potatoes. Uh, Y'all know we uh, fly through this. I said last time I bought it, oh, this is going to last us forever. And then I chuckled and I said, uh, probably not. And it didn't. It didn't last hardly at all. Um, 100 calories for a serving. Love, love, love those so much. Look what they finally got back. The parchment paper. I guess this is a seasonal thing for the holidays. I used to be able to buy it all the time though, I feel, and they haven't had it. They've got it back. So I went ahead and got it. I use parchment all the time. So this will last us a good while because these are huge rolls. And I feel like that's a good price versus buying the skinny roll at Aldi or at Walmart. And also look who has returned. Miss Fairlife, she's back. I could not believe it when I searched protein shakes in the app and it popped up. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting two. They are limiting you five at my club, but I went ahead and just scored the two. It is $2 more a 12 pack than what it used to be. It used to be $18.98. Now it is $20.98, but that's all right because it's million dollar on Amazon and everywhere else. So I got, they only have the chocolate at my club, but here's just hope guys. If you are wanting the Fairlife back, they have the core ones now and these back Finally, maybe we'll get some other flavors, fingers crossed. But that's what we got at Sam's, at Target, and at Aldi's, a Walmart grocery pickup. $98.54 Walmart grocery pickup. I don't think that's bad for 98 bucks. I don't know, y'all know every week we talk about it. I got some sourdough bread. Y'all haven't seen me haul any for a hot second because I'm the only one that eats this when I make my avocado toast. What I do is I pop this in the freezer and I only take out a slice as I need it and it lasts forever because I'm not eating it all the time. And this one's good. I've had in the past, this one is 120 calories a slice. And the great value one I think is 120 calories a slice. It's a little bit cheaper too, but these slices are a little bit bigger. I've been trying to get the one from Target that my girl Jen always raves about and they never have it in stock. It must be good. I don't know, but I got that one. Two tied me over because I only have a couple pieces left in the freezer. Speaking of avocado toast, I have zero avocados and these last forever for me too. So I've been putting them in a brown paper bag, getting them ready to go, and then I pop them in the, in the fridge and then I take them out as I need and they last forever. I wish I had one ready to roll today though because I am a hankering some avocado toast, but uh, I'll have to wait. I'll have to do my little hack. We are finally out of bagels. Y'all saw me haul the Dave's Killer Bread from Thrive Market. I got a ton of them. I put them in the freezer. We are out of all kinds of bagels. Me and Trey and the Hubs absolutely love them. And I like these Great Value Cinnamon ones the best. I feel like they have the most, like you can even see the raisins in them. They have the best flavor and they're cheap, okay? So you don't have to make things complicated. They are 260 calories, I think. Yep, 260 calories and nine grams of protein. Put it with another protein source on the side, get your carbs in, delish. Since I am upping my calories next week, I know it is time to, to grow. It is the season, I am ready, and I probably haven't even met my true maintenance calories yet, so I'm excited to bump them up to where they were last spring. And I said, you know what, let's try the chocolate this week because they're 60 calories versus 50 with the caramel. And just to switch up the flavor profile for my pre-workout snack in the morning. Speaking of that, bananas go with the pre-workout snack and Waylon's been grabbing them again. I didn't get any Fairlife milk last week because we had some. The boys haven't been using it for cereal that much, which kind of makes me happy. <laughs> They're not going through cereal, but we're out. So I went ahead and re-upped on it. And then y'all know the chocolate milk. We have to get one a week. 
Got a bunch of cheeses. I got a huge one pound sharp cheddar cheese block for recipes next week. The extra sharp white one is for that bean dip. I had a white extra sharp in the fridge from Target from way back when. That's what I used in the bean dip and it came out delicious. So I didn't want to mess it up and do the same thing. And then I got this thick cut extra sharp cheddar to sprinkle on top of our potato soup for our movie night versus the thin cut. And the Velveeta shreds is for a recipe. I only have a little bit left on hand. And then I did get one of the Greek cream cheeses versus the ones you saw me get at Aldi. This is for a recipe next week when we are tracking and doing the things. And this one is a little higher in protein. If I can squeeze it in for the whole fam, I try to. Got a regular original sour cream. That is to, oh, spooky nuggets down. That is to put on top of our potato soup. I got the light and fit protein mixed berry every single week for Trey. He takes one in his lunchbox. 10 grams of protein and 80 calories. If you're trying to get that protein in for the locale, works for adults as well, not just for kiddos. Speaking of Trey, I got him a four pack of the light Greek blueberry yogurt. I need to buy some from Sam's. I think their instant saving starts on the first and they got a bunch of good things coming up. So I got to stock up on the things that we are running low on. And y'all, my Walmart finally got the spooky nuggets. I mentioned when I bought these from Aldi, I have not seen them anywhere. And I just typed in spooky nuggets in the app because Waylon has been obsessed with the ones I bought from Aldi and we only have a couple left. Trey's been liking them too. So when I saw that they, they had them on the app, I said, let's get them for the last week of the month. Why not? They're probably going clearance next week, but went ahead and got the spooky nuggets for the boys. The Orida shredded hash browns, the big bag, that is to go in the slow cooker potato soup that I'm making for the movie night. I will link that video down below if you're interested in making that. Again, not macro friendly, but delicious. Got some deli meat. I've been getting the deli meat from Walmart because it's been a little bit cheaper than Sam's Club and we like it. The Black Forest ham, the family one pound pack, and then the little roast beef pack is for lunch boxes. And I've been air frying the ham and putting it on the side for a breakfast option. Love that. The vanilla bean ice cream, the boys are going to want to get into this, but this is for that new punch that I'm going to be making. So instead of sherbet, it calls for vanilla ice cream, which I thought was interesting. So we'll see how that goes. And they can eat the rest too, because we haven't had any ice cream or sweet treats in the freezer for a while. I haven't bought any. And then I did get a package of the Hormel Black Label Center Cut Bacon. I liked this one when I bought it a couple weeks ago. It just cooked up awesome. It tastes great. The macros on it, guys, are 80 calories for two slices. I think the other brand may be 60 for two slices. And then Aldi is not much cheaper anymore now than Walmart. It's crazy. The bacon prices are astronomical. Got some pantry items. I got a can of cream of chicken at Walmart because it was on rollback for a dollar. It was more expensive at Aldi. That is for the potato soup, maybe. I don't know. It's for a recipe. The queso blanco, I wanted to get the great value in for the Mississippi pot roast. I like to do the french fries and drizzle the queso on top. It is so good. And I love that great value in, but it was out of stock. So I got the paste queso blanco instead. It was like a dollar more. And I think the calories on the great value one are 40. This one's 45. No big deal. Boys are out of their grape jelly. I like to get the Welch's natural for them. It spreads easier too. I don't have any milk chocolate chips on hand. I have ton of white and ton, ton of semi-sweet, but I don't have any milk chocolate. And that is for the s'mores dip for the movie night. Speaking of movie night, I did get the great value 24 of the cookie dough ready to bake with the sugar cookies. Y'all know the TikTok viral hack where you smash the sugar cookie on top of this and you eat them together. I did that already for a movie night and everybody loved it. So I have those Halloween cookies. I needed the regular ones to smash on it. This is for the bean dip, the taco seasoning by McCormick. Remember I mentioned last week, ingredients good if you're wondering. And then I got the reduced sodium real bacon pieces to sprinkle on top the potato soup and we will use that for other stuff. And then this is not for us. This is to send to Waylon's classroom. They asked for snacks to pass out for Halloween in the afternoon. Instead of getting candy, I thought let's go another route. So I got the 20 pack of the Cheez-Its. It was my only substitution. I wanted the 20 pack of the Cheez-It variety. I don't care as long as I get something to send in that works and it was the same price. So that's everything we got this week at Walmart pickup and that should wrap us out until next week, Lord. So that's gonna do it for this week's grocery haul. If you enjoy these every single week, Saint is moving the camera. I mean, I can't go anywhere without this dog up my booty. Please give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much. and lets me know that you love and look forward to these grocery hauls every Wednesday on my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Make sure the bell is clicked. Even if you're already subscribed, guys, make sure your bell is clicked 
because YouTube is notorious for taking your bell away, hence why you may not be seeing my videos. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope this week's video was fun, informative, helpful. We do have all the fun things happening in November as well, so they're gonna continue to be big. Christmas is here. Y'all already see me buying it way before Halloween. You got to if you want to make sure you have this stuff in preparation for the actual holiday. It's insane. So I hope you guys stick around throughout the holiday season. I hope y'all have an awesome day and we'll see you next week for our next grocery haul. Bye y'all.